this um, very rainy day and I wanted to make this video for you guys well you guys know that I'm just here to talk so if you guys want a, a little friend or uh, communicate online you know I'm just here to talk and create a community who wants to be peaceful and uh, you know, communicate intellectual thoughts. Um, personally, um, I read a tarot card that told me that whenever I talk, I basically basically can communicate with my spirits and the spirits talk through me. So I want to see what happens if I just um, chatter, say stuff, and eventually something will come out where you know we can keep on going keep on creating a conversation through the comments through different platforms um, but um, I have wanted actually to create like um, possibly something that what's up baby come come sit come 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 baby come come baby so cute. Well, now that I have my thoughts together, I actually wanted to make a continuation of what I was talking to, talking about before in my video, which was basically the art struggle, the art suffering. The artist gets their, gets their creativity and puts their emotion out when they feel strong feelings when they feel depression when they when they when they're going through an obstacle even when you're writing when you're making music during those points in time you feel this kind of power inside you whether it be a negative feeling or not it's something in your heart that just wants to be let out and and as an artist you you know that you know you love to create you love being the creator of, you know, this pigment of your imagination. There's like something in art that it shows what's happening in your head. What's happening? Why Why am I feeling like this? Or even just when, when you're um, as an abstract artist, you know. But even when you're painting or drawing realistically, or, you know, actually being very more conscious about it, you're still creating through your thoughts. You're still creating. You know things that you know really you feel like you wanted to talk about you want to think about you wanted to see visually you wanted to hear you wanted to see you wanted to speak out you know so what why I wanted to continue this topic let me think about it what's up baby She's telling me to breathe. I'm a dog whisperer. <laughs> um, but I wanted to talk about, right? What I wanted to talk about was I was looking at a video. I was looking at an email. I think this is an example. Either this is an example or something that continues the, the artist suffering. But I was... Um, oh yeah. Your path can be very daunting. As an artist, you're told that you're not gonna make enough money, you're not gonna be, you know, um, you're not gonna live the life you actually want, but at the end of the day, is it really about money? Is it really about money when you feel this type of emotion and you wanna let it out to the world? What if this emotion can create a change, can create a butterfly effect from one person, from another person, to another person that sees it and it's just like, and he, and he or she is, or they are just like, wow. Now I'm going to make something that inspires me because I saw this girl's painting or this guy's painting or their painting or, or their creation, you know? I'm saying painting because, because I paint, you know? These, these, I have so many paintings, look. I wanted to show you because last, the last video I just did this, you know? I, my whole, my whole room is filled with paintings. 
but this is basically just a part of what I have, you know. And this is from, I, I this is like probably from, I started painting two years ago. I didn't know what I wanted. I wanted to be an entrepreneur, right? It didn't go out well. I didn't want to be an engineer. I didn't want to create some kind of technology. We already have so much of that, you know. And I know we have a lot of entertainment too, but it's it's lacking soul. It's lacking, you know, that that godly point of view, that divine, that universal point of view. That whatever you put on that canvas, or you whatever you put on that on paper, or whatever you put on whatever you're creating on, it's just there. It's there. It, it's, it can literally connect to anything. One of, what I tell myself is one of the best paintings are things that come out of the heart and the mind. The soul. The, if you have those three components, you create. Hold on. You create a triangle. The mind, body, and the spirit. Mind, body, spirit. And you, I understand. You see, for conspiracy theories, I know that is. Uh, if you put that in your in your left eye, it's the eye of Horus and. It involves Illuminati. I understand that. But we have to take back that power. The Illuminati has been using all these satanic rituals um, and creating so much popular entertainment on, on, on pedophiles, on, you know, eating flesh of human and stuff like that. You know, it's crazy in Hollywood. Tell, let me tell you about that. But uh, not right now. <laughs> it's a lot. If you want to talk, if you really want to like research it, uh, be aware that you will be uh, paranoid and fearful because it's really what they want you to feel, you know? And you will feel that. And you, so you have to really clear your mind before you do that. But anyways, going back to this, I forgot what I was going to say, but basically, mind, body, spirit, we're taking back our power. We're taking back the idea that we are spiritual beings, we are mystical. But in a, you don't have to believe in that. Uh, it's just a part, it's a concept. It's, it's an idea. I see my I see myself as a spiritual being. You can see yourself as a creator. You can see yourself as anything. Um, to me, that's the same thing. But at at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how how you see life. Just know that whatever you believe, whatever you see, whatever you what you whatever you think in your actions will show you what you're thinking what what you're doing because outside is a reflection of what's in the inside it will always be like that no matter what you think what you believe because let's think about it we're thinking we're doing and then we're going to do something because before we think we do Even whether it's conscious or subconsciously we think and then we do so where is that coming from you know where are those thoughts coming from is it really your head? Is it really your brain? You know? It's from influences. It's from the exterior. What is the exterior? What created the exterior? You know? But that's up to you. It's it's just when I think about it in a spiritual way, I sense that there's this overflowing of so many thoughts around the air, so many influences that comes to my head, down to my body, and into my soul. To my gut which is for some people the intuition which is you know the inner knowing but going back to the artist struggle I am gonna show you an example I'm gonna tell you an example of you know what happened to me before I go to school I have to do this quick sadly <laughs> I really love talking to you guys to be honest I know I don't have subscribers at all right now but I feel like I will <laughs> Um, basically I was looking, I was like two days straight, I was in my bed and I was just laying there doing nothing, sleeping, hugging my dog, not knowing why I was in that position. It was gray, it was blue, there was no color, 
and I was I, I, I was thinking about it I was like at one point the second day I was thinking you don't have to go to a selective college you don't have to you don't have to do certain things that you want to do to be famous as an artist but the thing is there was something inside of me that I was just trying to make excuses there was it was just trying to make excuses why are you making excuses? You have the capability to go to a selective college. You have you have so much talent. Why? Why are you making yourself suffer, man? So I let go. An email came. I'm not sure if it was like a sequential like that, but I feel like it was before you. It was either before or after. I saw this email. And it was Tufts University. It was telling me about uh, um, and the, one of the students and their story and how they really wanted to go to this college. They entered and it was it was literally higher than what they expected. It was everything they wanted but more. And I felt that. I wanted to be there. I wanted to see myself what it was. So I applied. I did not care what my parents said. My parents wanted me to go to Capital Community College, but I don't want to go to Community College. It's so easy. There's no obstacle. There's no struggle. What, what am I doing that for if there's no struggle? I, I almost felt like I knew more than an admissions officer, to be honest. It's just, I'm a researcher. I know things. I just want to know how I can express myself more I, in, in, in larger vocabulary, expanded vocabulary without making myself feel so nervous. Whenever I close my eyes I can I, I feel like I can you know really say what, what really comes in my heart. This is why I'm you know closing my eyes. I can literally almost cry right now. <laughs> but basically um, I think I might just be channeling this myself in, in my interior. Um, self but basically I was looking at that Tufts University email and I, I that was the breaking point I wanted to do something I didn't want to be bored I didn't want to do nothing anymore I realized that at that moment I knew what I had to do so the rest of the day I was busy as heck I did not sleep till 12.35 I didn't I was finished my I was finishing my common app, my Naviance. I was connecting them together. I called my counselor because um, there was a new one. So 